This is Terry. Um, I thought I would try to make a little bit of a tutorial to try to get you started on green screening or chroma key with Cam Twist. I know several people have been asking about it. Um, and I am by no means an expert, but this is what I've been able to work out with it. I used to do chroma key with Minicam, and I do think it was a little easier with Minicam. However, even then I wasn't a pro at it. Um, and I've learned a few things, so I'm going to share those with you. Um, some things you need to know about chroma key or green screening before you get started, especially if you've never done it before. Okay, chroma key, what is it? It's where you're deleting a color behind you so that you can make the area around you transparent so you can have any background, any image, a movie, a slideshow, it doesn't matter. Google Slides could be behind you. Anything can be behind you because that area will be transparent. Um, so the possibilities are em endless. It could be an animated GIF, JPEG, whatever. That could be scaled, moved, just like any other image. Um, and so that's what it is. Things that you have to have. Um, for one thing, you need a fabric behind you. Preferably non-reflective, um, something like felt or flannel or just doesn't have any sheen to it. That's what you're looking for. You're going to want to make it as straight and as flat and seamless as possible because every little wrinkle shows up on camera that you're going to have to compensate for. Um, you, can co you can key out any color. The two main colors that people use are blue and green because those two colors don't show up in people's skin tones so much or in their hair. Um, now I use green to key with, which I had to be very careful with because I have green eyes and I didn't want to delete my eyes and look like a demon <laughs> for my students and scare them to death. Um, but anyway, I just use, I have a cheap green fabric that I bought from Walmart. I don't know, $3 a yard. Anyway, um, your space, you want to try to have some space between your back wall and your camera. Now, I saw somewhere where it's recommended to have six feet between there. Now, um, I don't know how much distance there is from my camera to my wall, but there's 24 inches from me <laughs> to um, my chair to my wall. So there's a little bit of space between my wall and me. And then I'm right here at my desk and my camera's right there. I don't know. So, um, and another key thing you have to have, and that's paramount, is even lighting. Um, you have to pay attention to what kind of light bulbs are you using. They need to all be the same. You can't have warm white, soft white, and daylight going on at the same time. They all need to be one. I use all daylight bulbs. Um, you need to be lit from the front and you need to have some light in the back behind you. I had seen that on Teacher Ellie's uh, green screen video for Cam Twist and she's right because you don't want to have any shadows or any anything that breaks the light. You want the light to stay continuously even in your space. Things that also affect your lighting is bleed over light from other spaces like I'm in a closet right now that's five by eight and I was having troubles getting my chroma key right because I thought I had everything good but I didn't pay attention to the light bleeding over from the hallway so once I turned that light out or I shut my closet door I have been fine no problems I was like duh <laughs> Um, okay, what kind of lights do I have? Okay, I have two little clip-on lamps right here, one on this side, one on this side behind me. They both each have 100 watt LED soft white, I mean daylight bulbs, 100 watt daylight bulbs in them. Um, cheap lamps, $5 I think for a, a piece at Walmart, but and the bulbs were $5 a piece at Walmart. Um, and then in front of me, I have two soft box photography lights. Don't let that scare you. They were only $39 for both off of an eBay store. They brand new. Um, they had like 50 of them whenever I bought them. And there were several stores that had them. So you can find them cheap. They are just photo photography soft boxes. Um, they're pretty large. They're right here in front of me. So they're facing me and I have these two white ones behind me and that's it. No lights. Okay. So 
You got to have your setup right. Even lighting, even cloth, whatever color you're going to key, blue or green, you want it to be as a stark green as possible so the camera can catch it. Um, or a vivid color is what I'm saying. So the camera can catch it. Okay, um, I made myself big so that you can see me a little bit better as I key. Uh, now remember, our window is so small in VIP Kid, you're going to see more detail here than you're going to see in the VIP Kid window. So any flaws that you're going to see, you'll see them here on this one. Um, so, okay, let's get started. I'm going to bring my cam twist over. Um, and something that I use... Uh, Okay, my camera settings that I have, I use eyeglasses for my Mac that controls my camera settings, whether I'm using my laptop settings or my external camera. It controls whatever camera I want it to you, to do, and it does the settings for it. So I'm going to bring my eyeglasses controls over here so that you can see them. And I'm also going to just going to bring a folder of uh, images that I have that I use for backgrounds, okay? So I'm going to delete everything and I'm going to start from the ground up. It's going to look ugly, <laughs> but then just wait. We'll get it to where it looks normal and good. Okay. Now, um, let me tell you this too. Not everyone looks good on the same background. And you may want to try while you're setting up your key that you look compare yourself on a lighter background, on a darker background, and make sure it'll reveal more uh, troublesome areas against different lighting. So while you're setting it up, test it against different images. Okay, I'm going to clear the effects and let's get started. Here we go. Okay, I'm gone. Now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to set yourself up as a PIP. So go to webcam PIP and put that in there. And that's set up. Okay, and that's not my right camera. So I'm going to come and select my eyeglasses camera. Voila. Now I want to select and put gamma adjust in here because I really need it. <laughs> um, and turn it up brighter. There we go. Um, now you can see where I don't have green right here. I'm going to have to crop that out. So I'm going to have to deal with that area where I don't. I can now I can turn my camera a little bit. Yeah, that'll take care of that side right there. But I'm and I'm not worried about that. But you want to cover as much as you can around you because you know in VIP Kid we go woo all over the place. So you want to have that space to do that. Okay, another thing you need is image overlay. Mm, image overlay. And go ahead and layer that image overlay behind. Well, let's well while it's there, let's drag an image in there that we can um chroma key against and it can be any image doesn't matter because we're going to play with different ones I'm going to go ahead and stretch that and make sure it fits my window and it does and I'm going to drag this up back behind my uh, PIP okay we can't see it right now right <laughs> because we haven't keyed anything um, I'm going to go ahead and put another gamma adjust in there and I'm going to put this gamma adjust right here so that if I need to adjust the lighting on my background, I can. Um, now, this is in this PIP webcam is where we do everything. Okay, I'm going to go to PIP settings, clear background, and then I'm going to hit chroma key. This is where it's going to start getting ugly. So be patient. Chroma key. Oh, look, I got black teeth. No good. Now click this box right here. And this makes this little color dialog box come up. And while this is gray, you see where it says chroma key and it's gr not gray and it's gray. That lets you know you're adjusting the color. So I'm going to take this color dropper right here on my color palette tool. And I'm going to come up here and I'm just going to select a green. Okay. Now... It's okay. I'm not worried. We're going to fix it now. Now we're going to start keying. Okay. So do you see where it says threshold here underneath chroma key over here on your PIP settings? Bring that down to your see, see yourself really clear. Because the most important thing, don't worry about this screen. We're going to adjust for that. Is you want to see yourself clear with no fuzzies. You want to be clear because you are the, you're the star. That's what you want to do. I'm going to go ahead 
make this PIP bigger too. Yeah, just like that so we can see. Okay, now I need to get rid of this green. So with make sure your chroma key boxes thing is gray and come over here to your color palette and just play with it and move it until you get as much green out as you can. And you just adjust these two things. Ooh, look at there. Until you see no fuzzies. We don't want any fuzzies. And the only fuzzies I see is right here. You see that little fuzzy right there? And that's because I'm blocking a light. Now I can either tilt these two lights to get that out or whatever, but you know what? That, that is going to be so small and so minute. I'm really not worried about it. I'm worried about right here. I'm worried about green around my hands. I'm worried about around my head, but I'm okay. <laughs> Things that you can adjust though, um, or you can come in here to your camera settings and adjust your brightness. Now I'm going to like, see if I can brighten, see how that does that. You can play with that and get it right where you need it to be. You want to watch it though. Um, several things. You don't want to wash yourself out where it doesn't look like you belong in the background. You don't want to... Um, make too much green or something. So set your settings to where you look good, like you're natural in wherever you are. Um, I've seen a lot of green screen people where they're so orange. They're so orange to get their green out, but then they're orange and they're not cute. No, it's got to be, it's got to balance. It's got to balance or just don't do it. So I like eyeglasses because it saves whatever settings that I do. Um, I didn't need to change anything, so I'm okay. Now, look at my camp, my picture right here. I still have this white space up here. I want to crop that out. So on my PIP, I just crop the top. Voila, that's gone. Now, I could crop the bottom, but I don't want to do that because I don't want to seem short. Okay, so what I'm going to do, it's just something you can do. Um, now, if, you, if your green cloth goes all the way to the bottom, you wouldn't have that problem that I'm having. I just didn't have any green cloth, and I will probably fix that eventually, but I'm good. I ha I have a workaround, so I'm not worried about it. I'm going to put my name here. Let's make it a little bit bigger. Now, yeah, something like that, and I'm probably going to put a little VIP kid logo like I usually do. Um, let's see. Yeah. Can't find my logo. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Um, it's you know nothing wants to come whenever you want it to come so let me just put an image overlay and put it in here you know what it is it's okay and I'm not going to spend time with that but you can put anything there to cover that white space up that's not here they're, they're there now I'm going to test different backgrounds just to see how I'm looking okay I think I look okay in this one looks okay so I think my lighting is good but I'm going to test it against different things like okay this one right here is one that I like uh, looks a little dark so I'm going to use that gamma just right here and lighten that room up and now we're in my library Okay, so that works. Voila. Um, and that's, I think I still look okay. Now, as you see on the slider background, I can see a little bit of fuzzy right here. I can just go take my lighting on that PIP and I can probably tweak that out just ever so slightly. Uh, to be careful because while you're fixing one thing, you may cause another problem. But see, I'm okay. There's You adjust your colors just to make sure they're right. Okay, uh, another thing you want to be aware of is I know a lot of you use Google Slides with um, Cam Twist, which is great. I love Google Slides. Uh, but you're used to using the main webcam and the Google Slides as your PIP. So you swap the videos to make you big and it small and vice versa. But with you being the PIP, 
in this, I don't know how you're going to do that. <laughs> uh, I haven't got that worked out. That's somebody else's tutorial. I did think that, oh, you could just set your desktop or desktop plus as your main camera <laughs> and you as the PIP. Um, but I don't, I don't know if you're going to be able to do that. Uh, that's a different day. I still use Google Slides. I just use it as a PIP and I put it up here in one of my corners and then I just drag it down and make it big whenever I want to use it and I put it right back whenever I'm done with that or I click it on, click it off and I'm done. I don't worry about it because um, I still want to use both and until I can find a workaround, that's what I'm doing. Uh, so maybe one of you want to come up with that. Okay, so just remember, even lighting, that's paramount before you do anything else. Um, soft, I mean, non-reflective, vivid blue or green fabric works best. Um, adjust your camera settings, light, your exposure, your white balance. Those are two big ones. Your gamma, your saturation, those in your camera settings. That's what helps even you out and make you look normal. Um, those are key. And I, like I said, I use eyeglasses and it saves it for me. So my Logitech um, camera settings didn't save it. So I'd have to reset it every time. I didn't want to do that. <laughs> That's why I, I purchased eyeglasses for 20 bucks. I don't regret that. I love it. It saves me on so many things. Um, and there you go. There's your setup. I never have to reset everything in the morning. I just, when I get up, I turn my lights on to get everything warmed up and turn my cam, you know, turn on my cam twist or it's already running. I just wake up my computer. I go get dressed. I come back. I sit down and I think, oh, I'm teaching Beijing today. I'm going to drag the Great Wall over there. Um, I'm teaching whatever else and it's there. Um, this is like right now I am in my Christmas living room a lot. <laughs> Hi, we're at Christmas at my house. It's not really my house, but they don't know that. Uh, well, I do tell them. But I, if it's like if that's too light, too dark, I can lighten that up however you like. Okay, I hope this helps. I hope it gets you started, gives you some ideas. You can always contact me if you need me to help. I don't know. Try it out uh, and let me know how it works out for you. See ya. Bye.